Hi, my name is Don Goodsmer. I'm a tech advisor here at West System Epoxy. And this is the second video of an installment from Sale Magazine's um, series on Epoxy Basics. And in this video, we'll talk about West System tools. One of the single uh, most important tools um, up here is our calibrated mini pumps. The pumps are designed to mix the correct ratio with one pump resin to one pump hardener. And you get approximately one fluid ounce per pump stroke. And that gives you the correct ratio very quickly. West System offers two different size mixing pots, a 16 ounce pot and a 32 ounce for the larger applications. And the pots are kind of unique as they have sharp inside corners for mixing the epoxy, getting into the inside edges with your stir stick because that is very important. With any epoxy system, you definitely want to make sure it's adequately mixed. And when it's applied, you ensure that you have something that's tough and will cure as it's designed to cure. Once the system is mixed up for approximately about one minute and it's all one solution, then you can go about adding different additives. It could be a filler or sanding dust or whatever it might be for the application. Once the epoxy is mixed, you can go about applying it with many of the tools that we offer. And that could be as simple as taking a flexible plastic spreader to spread it out a large area quickly or for flow coating or reinforcing fabrics to wetting them out. The other thing is a bristled brush works really well for small coating applications. So getting into those tight cavities, you can apply it quickly. For larger applications, when you need to spread out the epoxy quickly, a thin nap foam roller cover, an 800 roller cover, is a really thin nap and it works well to evenly distribute the epoxy over the area. And those roller covers can be cut down in smaller widths for the application at task. Once the surface is coated with the roller cover and you get an even coat over the surface, come back and cut a segment of that roller cover to drag over the surface to tip it off for any entrapped air bubbles or roller marks to knock those down. We've been talking a lot about coating and using unmodified epoxy. We do have tools that can be used for taking thickened epoxy, adding different fillers to it, and modifying it. And some of our tools that I'm gonna show, we have our notch spreader, which is our 809 notch spreader. And it can be used and it has different notch thicknesses depending on the application on how thick you need to apply the epoxy. So that's as simple as just spreading it at a low angle and moving the epoxy over the surface. This could be used for coating out large panels quickly. Um, so there's anywhere from an eighth of an inch all the way up to a quarter inch notch. So it works very well. The other tool that we have for spreading out the epoxy over a large area fast is just a fl flexible spreader, just kind of beveled on one edge and just dragging it at a low angle can spread out the epoxy fairly fast over the area. We touched on our mixing stick. It, on one end of the mixing stick it has a nice rounded edge that can be used as a fillet tool. That is as simple as just taking the, the mixing stick and putting it at a 45 degree angle and just dragging it over the area. Then you can come back with your mixing pot and uh, take up your excess and this nice sharp angle on the mixing stick can come back and just clean up any excess squeeze out over the area. Then um, once the surface is applied, we could take that thickened epoxy and load it into a, a syringe and then depending on what you need to fill. If it's a tight area or a small hole, you could take that thickened epoxy and inject it into the hole and come back with a spreader and just smooth that off. For larger applications, for taking the epoxy and spreading it out, it could be as easy as an unfilled caulk tube. It's our 810 tube, you could just take modified epoxy and load it into the tube and come back and use a standard caulk gun and dispense a bead over the area 
for doing large fillets fairly quickly. And this tube will hold 10 fluid ounces of epoxy. We've talked a lot about using the epoxy if it's unthickened epoxy or if it's been modified with one of the fillers with any of these different tool methods. So as long as you use the right tool and use it properly, it's gonna make your job really successful.